everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Mary Lowe's. Okay, I need to stop this. I don't know why I keep moving my face side to side. I, I don't know, it, it, it kind of bothers me when I'm editing. But anyways, uh, I'm here with another makeup tutorial and I'm really, really excited about it because you know, well, you don't know if you don't know me, but I love Halloween season and I decided to start again with a fun and really easy makeup tutorial. Halloween, it just makes me more um, creative. You know? Is this it? Lion makeup. And I actually have another tutorial that I did a year ago, maybe two years ago. It's a cheetah makeup. Uh, if you wanna watch it, I will put the link down below. And actually this makeup tutorial is inspired on Desi Perkins. I really love her. She's my muse. <laughs> but I will keep making more, more Halloween tutorials. I have some cool ideas and actually if you have something that you want me to do, comment down below. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like and share this video. <laughs> okay, so enjoy this video and enjoy this season. <laughs> We're going to start moisturizing our face. This is very important because we're going to use a lot of makeup. So this is going to help us to protect our skin, to avoid any damage, you know, the horrible breakouts. So I'm using Eucerine. This works for me. You can use any other you want. Now I'm going to start right away with my eyes and I'm using an eye primer. This is by NYX Cosmetics, very inexpensive. And this is going to help us, help us to get the colors that we want very strong. Right now, make sure you extend the primer in the inner corner and the outer too. And blend perfectly because you want the application of your shadows goes very smooth and don't look cakey. Right there, I'm applying an eyebrow bone shadow. This is completely matte and I'm going to apply it right there in a little bit in the eye socket, but not too much. Now I'm using this brush by MAC, it's the 239 and I'm using this shadow brown script and with this I'm going to apply the shadow in the eye socket. We're trying to make like a cut crease. This brush is not very thin to make the cut crease very visible right there but we're gonna work on that. This is a technique that I use and this is make it, trying to make it easy for you if you're not an expert so don't worry. Right there, I'm just winging out and make it and extend the shadow. Just try to make the shape, but don't worry too much about if it doesn't look very defined, the cut crease. It's not the point right, right now, at least not in my video. So right now I have a clean brush and I'm blending the color, but I will grab another bigger blending brush to help and smooth a little bit more. Right there, I have this color and I will play a little bit upper just to make it more blended and not too harsh. And with the same brush, the bigger one, I will keep blending more and more. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I hope that makes sense. So now we're going to start working in the cut crease because you don't see a cut crease right there. So I'm using this detail brush and with a concealer, any concealer that you have, you will start defining the cut crease this is i think this is easier if you don't have like a shaky hand so just go around on your eye socket and define and make the cut crease as sharp as you want now i'm using a darker shadow this is umbrac by mac i hope i'm pronouncing it right and this is going to help us to create more deepness i'm just going right in the socket no passing what I just did so make sure you keep it right there and if you blend blend it up now with another detail brush in the darkest black shadow that you have matte remember just go and define right the cut crease it's very important to use a detail brush now I'm using a small elf brush and this is perfect to blend in small areas. I'm using Umbrock, the dark color, and just blend it, giving more deepness and dimension and you know, just work there. Now I'm using a blending brush and blending everything. So now I'm using a light color just to smooth everything 
and then apply more of the dark color you know blend everything as much as you want that's a concealer i'm just trying to guide for the next things that i'm going to apply it's just making you know the guide now i'm going to use a light color and i'm going to start applying it in the mobile lid in all the area that you're watching this is a matte color and the color is strange by the third naked palette and here you have the option to make it more glamorous glittery like gold but i prefer it this way very simple so now i'm going to use an eyeliner to make the wing which is the fun part so this is by elf this is a gel liner but i changed my mind and i used another one this is by l'oreal it's a pencil graphic pencil so just make sure when you go and do the wing out leave the space you know the shadow the white shadow make a thin space there don't go too close with the other dark shadows make sure you wing your inner corner that's going to make your eyes very filling so clean with concealer and make it very sharp okay it's time to go with the rest of my face and i don't remember which foundation i'm using i think it's the revlon the whip one so i will do it and then i will take the excess with my sponge and please don't freak out with the things that you're going to see right now i'm gonna use this concealer the lightest concealer that i found is camouflage by hard candy and i will mimic the parts of a, you know the highlights of a lion you know what i'm saying i will just go in in the t-zone my nose kind of like contouring but i will make it more crazy and very you know dramatic you're a lion remember that Okay, right now I'm going around of my mouth. I'm trying to make like a, you know, you see a picture of a lion and the parts that are lighter. Just that, just do that. So I think I'm going to start blending. You should blend right away. I wait like five minutes. I was dancing. I don't know what I was doing. I was having fun right there. So, and make sure you don't apply a lot of product because it's hard to blend especially in the area close to my eyes i don't know what i'm doing okay yeah i was too hyper i guess okay now it's time to set you know the all the white thing the concealer the highlighter because we want our makeup last longer and this powder is amazing it's very inexpensive less than ten dollars i bought it at walgreens it's great to bake so i was not sure if i wanted to bake or just set it right away but bake was good okay now i'm going to contour the dark parts that you are watching on my face so you know just go like you normally contour but this is darker than i normally use it's by nyx cosmetics and then start blending with a brush to make it more you know more softer okay just keep blending everything with this brush if you need another brush and bigger and remember you want just everything very smooth and when you get close to the you know the light parts just go a little bit softer with the brush and blend it perfect to don't look very harsh okay now i'm going to grab my blending everything brush i really love this one i think i bought it at walmart and I will take the excess of my powder, my baking powder. Here, this is a um, bronzer or contouring powder. So I'm just going to apply it in the areas that you're watching. And if you want to define your contouring, just you can do that and apply a little bit of color in the contouring area to make it stronger, you know, like make it pop it's up to you okay now contour your nose and it doesn't matter if the color is very strong you're a lion so it's cool okay now we're back with the eyes and i will grab this white pencil jumbo pencil and i will apply it in the waterline and make it a little bit thicker because we want the big eyes and when you get close to the inner wing just make sure you grab a detail brush and go to don't destroy that okay now i'm gonna grab a brush like this it's very thin as you can see i bought it. i think it's elf as well and i will grab my brown script color 
and I will start applying it to you know to start defining that part just going around and connect with the wing just make sure you make you don't make a mess right there and make it thick or thin as much as you want and then with this brush it's very important it's a small brush to blend everything and make it more you know when you blend everything everything looks better <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to grab my detail brush and with the black shadow, I'm going to start defining that area and then I will blend the colors together. But can you see the difference with the black shadow? Yes, you do, right? So yeah, again, make sure you blend everything. Now I think I start making more sense with my lion's face. I hope so. Oh my gosh, let's continue with the cutest part of this video. The nose. So I will tell you what I'm using. This is um, face paint. It's a cream face paint by Benet. I think I pronounced it right. You can get it online in the website of Benet or Amazon. I think I got it in a store. I don't remember, but this is where you can find it. I want to explain you what I'm doing with the nose, but I think it's easier if you just watch. So what I use, I use two different brushes, the same detail brush and another light liner brush. Now I'm going to make a line, a thin line connected to the nose, to my upper lip. You didn't see because the camera didn't capture. Okay, continue with the upper lip. You can use a black lipstick. Make sure it's a black lipstick. I use the same product that I use with my nose. No good idea. Okay, now I'm going to draw the points that define the cats, you know? They are five in each side. Two, you know, two, 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 and one. I don't know. Okay, you can see in the close up. Yeah, very easy. I made the lines out of the lips. It's cool, you can do it or not. Sorry, I didn't show it. And now apply a lot of highlighter. Oh my gosh, I start looking better. And I'm using this lashes by Coco Lashes Goddess to make the cat eye intense. So you got the lion look, meow, you're a sexy lion, ready for Halloween. Please send me your recreations, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos, bye bye. Intensify this. Mm, I'll intensify this. Mm. No! I intensified it too much. Oh my god!